Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to show you how to create four different type of brushes in the app IBS Paintex with this brush pattern option. So this is a new update. If you are having the old update, you will not have this option. So please update your app. And here you can see when you click the type, there are four different types. Using this, you can create four different types of brushes so before everything just choose the template and choose the brush type i use felt pen hard and for the first one i'm going to use the first type brush pattern mono which means uh, it's going to give the mono color and in the size go for the bigger size for high quality brush so here we're going to get the color only one single color that's called mono and whatever color you choosing it will come in that color the brush will come in that color so that's the uh, brush pattern mono it's all about and here for this purpose i'm going to create a simple brush using the basic fill tip and hard brush just using two circles and since it is a mono brush if you apply any texture details it will appear but it will not change or a mixture of color just it will have a single color yeah we created the brush detail and now i will show you how the brush looks and this is how the mono brush looks and i want to change a little bit here go to type or you know, go to shape and here you can switch on the foblo rotation to get something like this and if you want to try different color this is how it looks and if you want to mix with the other color you can choose water in the brush type in the types option and now it looks the same because we have to uh, change some more here to change to blend the color of uh, other strokes just switch on the color mix and here you can see after increasing the color mix value the colors start mixing with the other colors in the canvas so yeah this is the mono brush basically mono brush is single color but if you change the type to water mono double it will change accordingly so i like the double uh, option in this i'm going to keep it like this so to save the brush click on this back to my gallery and here they will provide the option to confirm your brush click on this ok ok and yeah your brush is ready now open any canvas or just create new canvas and you can test how it works so here is the brush that i have created now and don't forget to switch off the shapes and yeah this is how it looks this is my mono brush it gives only single color and whatever color you choose it will appear here let's see the next type in the brush creation so click on this plus again and scroll down to the bottom you can find brush pattern click on this cross and again here in the type go for brush pattern color and i'm using the fresh felt tip and hard template and size at the same before now here it's going to give whatever color here in the canvas so for example I am going to import an image to show you better so if you want to use any image brush then you can try in this brush pattern color because whatever color in that brush uh, in that image will appear as it is and here I'm going to try something floral let me choose this place it inside and yeah now it looks good click on the stick now cancel and delete this unwanted layer now you can see this is the color we can find it so many colors in that image and you can see this is how it looks and we have to make some changes just you know go to shape increase the spacing increase the pattern opacity you will get the full color here and now it looks clear you can see whatever color in that image that appears here this is the specialty of brush pattern color type and make sure the brush color here what you are you have uh, will match you know matches the image because uh, uh, here it is like pink and greens and I have something like red color in the box so it is not matching at all so choose some color similar to this 
we don't have color wheel option to choose we have to choose only from this basic color and now if I change to some different color this is how it looks so yeah the color brush changes all this uh, detail uh, you know color of the detail accordingly with the color that we choose and confirm the brush okay and okay now I'm going to show you how to create the pattern brush which is the third one click on this brush pattern and in the type choose texture pattern so we're going to create the texture brush basically and size as I told before you have to choose accordingly I used a small size to show you how the quality of brush affects with the size of the uh, size that we choose so here I'm going to import a texture um, image that I have already downloaded so I'm going to use this texture and place it since I choose really small size for this brush it looks uh, you know of less quality full of pixels so you have to choose with high quality now I'm going to make it as a gray scale because for the texture pattern we can only consider color uh, you know gray scale or black and white we don't uh, the app don't accept the colors and I need more details so I'm going for adjust color filter and adding some of black and white so that we get clear texture uh, for this one and as I told before the size the quality is depend on the size you choose you can see it looks really blurry so you have to choose something like 500 cross something like that or 1000 cross 1000 pixel for the brush and increase the opacity in the type for the texture and check out how it looks this is how it looks uh, if you have force fit on switch off this then try also you have to make some adjustment for this brush as well adjust the scale size adjust the opacity of the brush accordingly and check out how it looks so i'm going to make this texture more visible now just increase the size scale size and this is how it looks so this is texture brush and you can see how the quality depends on the size that we use and at last we're going to create the blur brush so to create the blurring brush click on this plus symbol and at the bottom you can find this brush pattern click on that and in the type go for you know the blurring shape click on this type and so here i choose to instead of fill tip and hard i'm going to choose something like watercolor brush so yeah basic uh, watercolor brush and I'm going to choose blurring shape in the type option click on this ok and this is how the blurring details look just clear it off and we're going to apply some texture so I'm just making it random not I'm not going for anything particular and when we are testing this is how it looks the detail that I applied works along with the watercolor texture that I already have by, by default by that brush and if you want you can make some changes in the fade because blurring details will come under this fade option you can adjust the blurring degree how much it want to blur and where it should blur like at the start or at the middle or at the end you have to choose that and check so yeah this is how the blurring brush works so it blurs off at the top, uh, beginning and end hope you like this tutorial useful and uh, understood better about creating the basic four different type of brushes using this brush pattern option so thank you for watching if you are new to my channel subscribe the android artist this is especially for android users hope you like this video and check out all other videos from my shorts and my video thank you for watching bye